there wasn't a scrap of bunting left on Merseyside as Wirral County came to Wembley for their first ever FA Cup final. They had waiting in store the mighty Bolton Wanderers, a team whose players are rumoured to earn nearly £10 a week. Wing commander Peter Tatchell gets the match off to a rollicking start and that famous scouse wit is soon in evidence. Cover your ears, ref. Someone just called you a ninny. Ten minutes gone and will earn themselves a penalty. Centre forward Stan Bassett steps up to take it. And strikes it only a whisker away. Never mind, Stan. Keep on smiling. After a cracking end-to-end -end encounter, the tie appears to be heading for a replay when Bolton let a wonder go. What an absolute cracker. That's worth seeing again. Wing Commander Tapshall blows up for the end of the game and the cup is on its way up the A575 to Bolton once more. Wirral Captain Stan Bassett goes up to receive his loser's medal from Her Majesty the Queen Mother, touching his crippled son Michael. With devoted fans like young Mike in tow, little Wirral County have a big future. Don't mess about with it! Kick it in the air! In the air, lads! Leave it, Mike. They're only eight. I'm sorry, love you. Knock it wide! The big lad doesn't like to see. Come on, we're meant to be on holiday. You know what? I'd love to live in Spain. Everyone's so friendly and relaxed. Oh, I've got nothing against the Spanish, love. Neutral in the Second World War, but well, we can gloss over that. Well, it's just not England, is it? Half the population is. Chris Waddle's got a place over there next to John Ketley. And there's a Brinks map robber down the front, so there's plenty of like-minded people. Oh, no, but it's not the same as that's home, is it? I'd be lost without a decent chippy and a boozer. All right, but you won't find a traditional English tandoori around here anyway. Why don't you just pack it all in and we can move down here? I can't just retire, love. I've got a big responsibility as manager of Colchester United. Well, for how long, then? Well, I don't know, do I? But I can't just up sticks, can I, and move to Spain? Not unless Real Sochid would get on the blower. What about what I want, Mike? I've followed you everywhere. Preston, Burnley, Blackpool. But you said you wanted to travel. Not just around Lancashire. I really want to move to Spain, Mike. And now that Jason's at university... Dance school. It's a degree course. In movement. Well, anyway, the point is... It'll be just the two of us. You and me, living out our days under the warm Mediterranean sun. Careful, love. You're squashing me sausage. Just promise me you'll think about it, eh? Todsy! Hey, look, love. Hello, son. All right, boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Todsy, me old muck, and it's great to see you. Hello. Get him a cup of tea, will you, love? How'd you take it, Dodsy? Uh, white and four, please, Mrs B. Great to see Dodgy again, isn't it, love? It's made my bloody holiday, Mike. Oh, she's delighted. So what is it that brings you out here to the back of beyond? Well, boss, I was asked to come and see you. The thing is, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Oh. Oh, well, go on, son. Fire away. Give us the good news first. Do you not believe this, boss? We're all county. What you as their new manager? You're joking me. Did you hear that, love? We're all county have come in for me. I heard. Oh, well, that's bloody marvellous, that. But I can't leave just like that. I've got a job over at Colchester United. Yeah, yeah, that's the uh, bad news, boss. Oh, Jesus. Exactly. Are they offering a decent payoff, Dodsy? Ladies and gentlemen, the new manager of Wirral County Football Club, Mike Bassett. Thank you, thank you very much, and thank you to our chief executive, Mr Johnson, and, of course, to our chairman, Sir Denzel. It's, uh, oh, great to be home. By the way, Mike, you've been a Wirral fan since birth and your father played for the club. How do you feel about this place? <laughs> Where do I begin? There's only one club I've ever dreamt of managing and this is it. Well, this and maybe Manchester United. And I've always had half an eye on uh, Grasshopper of Zurich as well. Oh. Next. Yeah, Mike, you lost the England job following a disastrous Euro qualification campaign. Look, look, we've been over this a hundred times, son. Everyone knows there's no easy games at international level. 
And Liechtenstein are no exception to that. You were then sacked from Newcastle after taking them down in consecutive seasons. Yes, but I left them in far better shape than when I found them. In what way? Well, it's reduced the wage bill by half at the start. Only because the best players left. Yes, I know that, son, but what exactly is the point you're making? After that, you were paid off by Norwich and Colchester. I mean, what makes you think you can be a success here? Because this is my town. This is where I come from, isn't it, lad? God helps me a port in my veins, literally. All that pollution from the Stanlow sulphur plant, and I tell you what, I'll move earth, wind and fire to get this club back up there where it belongs. Next. Uh, Mike, do you have a message for the literally dozens of Whittle County fans up and down the country? Of course I do. I say be proud. Look at what this area's given to the world. The Manchester Ship Canal, John Prescott, Thomas Crapper, the inventor of the modern flush toilet. And of course, Lee from Steps. So to all them Whittle County fans who've lost hearts over the years and drifted off to the big clubs like Manchester United, Liverpool and Wrexham, I say come home. The good times are winging their way back to Whittle. Great to have you on board, Mike. I'm sure you'll turn this club in the right direction. Nice to be on board, Rufus. Richard. Ah, Richard. Here he is, Dodsey, the man of the moment. Just wanted to say, your dad made this club, Mark, single-handed. No, said Denzel, you made this club. Oh. Cheer, Dodsey, quick. All right, said Denzel. And together, we'll bring the good times back, said Denzel. You go on, lad. You go on. What a man, Dodgy. He's given his life to this club. Sunk all his money to it. Dragged a kicking and screaming to the verge of bankruptcy. He's an object lesson to every chairman in the country. Why, boss? Marvellous. And do you know what, son? I'm going to repay him by putting the pride back in this club. Oh, that's his spirit, Gaffer. No surrender, <laughs> eh? <laughs> the old trophy room. Seems like no one's been in for a spell, boss. Blimey, look at this place, Dodgy. It's a bloody treasure trove. Hey, it's in his boss. Picture of the 1914 side. Only two of that side came back from the Great War, Dodgy. One of them had lost the foot. Still, they, they chucked him on that right back and he played some of the finest football of his career. Dodgy, would you just look at that? Hey, just look at that. That's the only thing this club's ever won. It's an empty trophy cabinet, boss. Well, that's what we won, didn't we? The trophy cabinet knockout challenge of 1928. <laughs> just look at the beadwork in it. Hey, look at this, boss. Jesus Christ, Dodgy. You're holding me dad's bust. Really, boss? Yeah. I thought that disappeared in the great robbery of 1972. Yeah, well, the thieves probably didn't bother looking in the trophy room, boss. He was a hero to this club, I'm telling you. Scored more goals than any player before or since. A record 12 in the FA Cup run of 1956. Pity you missed that penalty in the final. All right, Dodsey, don't rub it in. The first thing I'm going to do is put my dad's bust in the window so all the fans can look at it. There you go, Dad. Those are your people out there. Dodgy. OK, Dodgy. I'm going to sack half of them. That's the spirit, boss. Hey, hey, 
Okay, Dodger, you've been watching the team. What have we got here? Right, well, the uh, black lad up front, that's uh, Carlton Dawes. Yeah, call him Barn Dawes, because he, he couldn't hit one. He's not scored now for eight months. Eight months? Try to think it's time we move them on. Yeah, we could do that, boss, if you, if you think that's right. Why don't you think we should? Well, no, it's just that he's getting married next month and, you know, they've just had a kid and uh, the mortgage repayments have gone up again, so, you know, things are a bit tight for the lad. Well, give him another season, eh? Get his head right and his legs should follow. What about the goalkeeper there? He looks a bit erratic. Oh, why, boss. That's Laszlo Vig, a.k.a. The Terminator. All right, well, let's start by terminating this contract. Oh, no, boss, whatever you do, do not sack that man. He's a very feared and respected person in his own country. He's got the ear of the president of the Serbian Football Federation. Go away. Keeps in a jar under his bed. Bloody hell. He used to be in Arkans Tigers, but they kicked him out for being a bit too nasty. Right, right. right yeah, well, we'll leave it for the time being, just to be on the safe side. What about the little fat lad playing right back? Yeah, actually, boss, that's the uh, sponsor's son. Don't kick it that uh, His dad's uh, Eddie James, owns all the landfill sites around here. He's responsible for putting uh, Wirral rubbish on our shirts. Well, can't we just boot him out anyway? No, not really, boss. His dad said if we do that, he might take his money elsewhere, and I think he means uh, Chester City. Bloody hell, Dodgy, I've got to sack somebody. What about that fella on the ball now? Righty? Eh? Yeah, yeah, you can sack righty. Eh? Yeah, well, that's it, then, he's sacked. Yeah. Only problem there, boss, he's our best player. By a mile, as well. You know, we're all rubbish without him. <laughs> OK, we're all rubbish. Do you get it? We're all rubbish. Hysterical, Dodgy. Get them all together, I'll give them a team talk. All oh, right, boss, right. Come on, lads, back in. All ears, boys. Boss wants a word. All right, lads, gather round. Hey, switch that off, son. Right, as you probably all know by now, I'm the new gaffer around here. You can call me boss or gaffer, but I'm not too keen on governor. And any fancy stuff like head honcho, I can definitely live without, OK? Yes. Right, now, I'll be working with Dodgy, the coach, who you all know. So when he says jump, I want you to jump. Capiche? Capendi? Do you understand? Yes. Right. You'll be playing your first game with me in charge this Saturday. So it's up to you to show me what you can do. And I'll be looking for your best performances, because from now on, you're playing for your future. All right? Yes, yes, yes. Right, I'm an open-minded man, so if you've got any questions, don't be afraid to ask. This is a two-way street. Uh, could you give us an indication of the type of team tactics and playing formation you're likely to adopt? so we can start to think about how to adapt our game to, to best suit your playing style. Who's the joker who swallowed the dictionary, Dodsey? Jeremy Boss. He's got a degree from Durham University. Troublemaker, egg. All right, son, just because you've got an A-level. No need to unsettle the rest of the squad. Come on, five times round the pitch. Come on, lift those bloody knees up, Jeremy! And the rest of you, come on, let's get back to work now. Back to work! Come on! That's it! Steady with that, lads. Wedding present from Ron Atkinson. All right, love, I'm back. What do you think of the new house, then? Kareen? Through here. Hey. Look at the craftsmanship in that. Smooth as a whisper. You see, that's what you're paying for. You all right, love? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just... You haven't... You haven't got something in your eye, have you? No, get off. Now, re relax. Come on, I think I can see the bugger. There's nothing in my eye, Mike. What? You haven't been crying, have you, love? Yeah, just a little. I suppose I'm a bit tired. Be all right once you get all these boxes unpacked, love. And all your stuff's in the business. Look. Your little Spanish donkey, eh? Set of castanets, your sun cream lotion. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, love. How's me and isn't all that bad? We get a nice bit of sun in the morning. It comes up behind the sulphur plant, all them beautiful colours. I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do here, Mike. I feel like a spare part. You're not a spare part. You're an essential part of the Bassett machinery. 
You like Castrol GTX? Liquid engineering. I couldn't run without you. I can't just sit in this house all day waiting for you to come home, Mike. It'll drive me crazy. Well, it's not just the house, love. It's our home, isn't it? You'll be fine once you get some photos up on the wall. Look, look, look. <laughs> Remember that? That's you on our honeymoon in the Lake District, remember? It wasn't exactly a honeymoon, Mike. We stopped off at a B&B after the Carlisle United game. Yeah, but we let you travel up on the team coach. Don't you see, Mike? All my life has been about you and football. I bet you don't even remember what I was doing when we met. I do. What, then? You were going out with Norman Hunter at Leeds United. I had a career, Mike. Did you? Yeah. I was a hairdresser, remember, and a bloody good one, too. Oh, well, no, that you used to practice on me sometimes, remember? Hey, that Phil Oakey, he's got a lot to answer for, hasn't he? I let it all go, Mike. For what? To be a football widow. Whatever happened to Corrine Patterson, eh? Bad luck. <laughs> you trusty little scissors. You could always take the challenge up again. You know what they say? You never lose it. Snip, snip, snip. Don't be silly. <laughs> Look, we've got a nice little nest egg set aside. You could open your own salon up in the town, couldn't you? People round here, they're always going to need perms. I can't do that, Mike. It was 20-odd years ago. I'd have to retrain. Well, go for it. I believe in you. Do you? Yeah, we're a team. We'll work this little thing out somehow. Me and you, together. Mmm. Oh, wait, love. When you've emptied them boxes, will you put me tea on? I'm bloody starving. Down to WC. Come on, now. Come on, down to WC. Anybody? Of course you can, son. Thanks for coming back. I don't know if the kids like you. Never stop believing, eh? All oh, right, so give it here. No! Here you go, son. Are you all right, lads? That's it, positive thinking. Are you up for this, son? Oh, sorry about that. Is this one the sponsor, son? Yeah, that's him, mate. Good luck today, son. And the... Oh, pass on my regards to your father. Are we playing 90 minutes again, today, Mr Passes? That's it, son. Good question. Always thinking. What's Carlton doing? Looks as though he's chasing an imaginary bee. It's sort of a pre-match lucky rich or boss, he always does it. Doesn't mean very lucky for them, has it? Bugger hasn't scored for eight months. Come on, son, now. Let it go. Come on, hook it. There's no bee there. I've got to go back to the beginning now. Oh. All right, Jeremy, son, what have you got there? Oh, it's just... Uh... The bloody Guardian, Dogsy. Look, Professor. Stop worrying about the exchange rate mechanism, lad. To start worrying about Torquay United, eh? Uh, well, actually, it's an article with the Torquay manager. It says he's going to go with three up front, three in the middle, try and snatch an early goal. And I thought we look, son. If you've got something useful to say, I'm all ears. But in the meantime, keep it zipped, eh? All right, lads, come on. Listen up, come on. You know the plan. This is your chance to go out there and show what you can do. Okay, and always remember, we're taking no prisoners. Hey, come on. Come on. Just like Gustav. Bang, bang! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the spirit. Come on, come on, lads. <laughs> right. I'm going to go and sit with the chairman up in the stands for the first half. Get a better picture from up there, OK? All right, let me hold on. You keep it on him, Dodgy. Will do. This could be the start.
part of a beautiful relationship, Sir Denzel. I'm backing you 100%, but... That's the spirit, Sir Denzel. Come on, you winner! Let's be up Already breaking records, Mike. Keep smiling, Ace Denzel. Never say die. Sir Denzel? Sir Denzel? Bloody hell, he's done a jock steen on me. Get St John's ambulance up here now, right away. Bloody hell. What have I let myself in for? into the job for Wirral manager Mike Bassett and it's been a dream start. Unfortunately, that's one of those dreams where your old maths teacher turns into a giant dog and bites you in the face. Five defeats and a 6-0 drubbing at the hands of the mighty Mansfield Town a scarcely promotion form. I asked the fans how they felt about the new boss. Mike Bassett, he's complete and utter shit. In response to the fans' unrest, Bassett released this statement. Look, I realise we've been poor and there can be no excuses. Except I inherited a weak team, the chairman's in hospital, the referees have been absolutely woeful and the Grimsby game should have been abandoned because of a waterlogged pitch. I also caught up with Mrs Bassett to ask her how she's settling into life in Ellesmere Port. We very much enjoy being part of the local community who we're sure will welcome us with open arms. Eventually. So, with the pressure mounting on Mike Bassett and his team, the question we're all asking is, is the honeymoon over? Offside! Referee, how can he be interfering with play? He hasn't interfered with play for the last 12 bloody months! Laszlo! Laszlo, do not get involved! All right, lads, we are present and correct. Yeah, right, let's get out of here. Hey, there he is, yeah. Run away! Let's get out of here! Come on, Todd, you don't wake him, fans of bloody lunatics! I've got the wake of law! That's our boys, boss! Big treat, Todd! Big treat! Get on the blower to the coach, Snyder. Tell him to bring the coach to the other end. Run away, lads! Once we're through these doors, it's every man for himself. Go! 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 Get away, oh, okay. Put your foot down, driver. 
Oh, excuse me, madam. Can I interest you in our two-for-one mobile phone offer? No, thanks. My husband gets plenty of free ones thrown at him every Saturday. How are you feeling, Dodsey? Smashing, boss. Over the moon. Oh, good. Only the lads seem a bit down in the dumps. Oh, definitely, boss. Miserable as sin. Reckon I should have a few... Yeah, bit of a... Right. All right now, lads. Listen up. Tune in, boys. All ears. Testing. Can you hear that now, boys? Yes, boss. Yeah. Right. I just want to say, don't be too downhearted. That could have been a lot worse. It could have been ten with all their chances. All right, Jeremy. Now, look, it's early in the season. We're not yet in the relegation zone, so there's plenty to celebrate. Keep your heads up. And if you believe in yourself, we can turn this mini blip. Five losses on the bounce. Yes. Into a winning run. OK, boys? <laughs> yes! Come on! Seems to have done the trick, Dodsey. Definitely, boss. Put a much-needed smile on their faces. No, are uh, yeah. Of course, it was all a load of rubbish. <laughs> really, boss? Well, that shower. Calm goodness his ass with a banjo. And Jeremy, he'd be more at home on bloody countdown, wouldn't he? And our Serbian goalkeeper, he's an indicted war criminal. I inherited that punch of misfits, didn't I? But I tell you what, Dodgy, within 12 months, half of them will be back on income support. Or up in the Hague on charges. You want my boss at Mrs. Arnie? Might be. Did you get us any free tickets? Free tickets? Probably get you a game. All we need, Dodgy, is a new player who tackles like Keane, dribbles like Giggs, and scores like Rooney. And dives like Perez. Exactly. And all for what? Like 100 grand? Not easy, boss. Right, hey, we're on. Hey, what's this bloody. What? How'd it go, love? 2 0. Oh, right. Thought I'd have dodgy stuff on tonight, love. What's the sub of Mrs. B? I was in Cheshire Oak Shopping Village today. All right. Yeah, and I saw this empty retail unit. It would make an ideal beauty salon. It's next to Pound Saver, right across from the Sue Ryder shop. Oh, that's a prime location, love. Yeah, it is. And I think you're right, Mike. Why don't we buy it with our nest egg? After all, if you're not retiring to Spain, what's the good in it sitting in a building society? Busy earning that 4% interest, Mrs B. I'm talking to my husband. What do you think, Mike? I mean, it, it would give me something to do and help me settle here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a smashing idea. You do? Yeah, you go for it. You open your beauty salon. There's plenty of ugly people around here. They lowers their beauty treatment, eh, Dodgy? <laughs> I just wish it was as easy to solve my problems. Yeah, it's not though, is it, boss? Not unless we can sign some decent players, you know. Why don't you do a Sam Allardyce and bring in a loan signing from one of the big clubs? Oh, dearie, dearie me. A loan signing? You stick to the beauty business, love. Let me worry about the football. <laughs> I lay awake all night last night, Dodsey. Oh, hi, boss. I mean, you should have given me a shout. Be numbing an iron to know how we can get out of this mess, you know. Anyway, I've come up with a plan. Oh, nice one, boss. What is it? Well, we can't afford any decent players, right? Yeah. So, we bring in a loan signing. A loan signing? <laughs> oh, brilliant, boss. Isn't that what your missus? A goal scorer and midfielder who's been warm on the bench, you'd say, somewhere like Real Madrid. You know, a modern day Maradona. Oh, Maradona, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It's a bit fat these days, though, isn't it? Oh, come on, lads, settle down, eh? This Saturday's the first round of the Carling Cup. And we've got a great tradition in that competition. Now, we drew with Charlton seven seasons ago, if you remember. You weren't here then. No, but I cheered when they come up on the CPAC service, just like the rest of you. What use is that? We want results. We all want results, but it's no use moaning, is it? Did Douglas Barder complain in the Battle of Britain when he lost both of his bloody legs in his Spitfire? Yeah. 
Of course he did. He was in bloody agony. He couldn't get out the cockpit. Put yourself in his shoes. Well, he didn't have any shoes, did he, Dodsey? Look, the point I'm trying to make is Douglas Bardy wasn't a quitter. He got his new tin legs, got back in the Spitfire, full throttle back at the Germans. Well, I've got 11 Douglas Barders on that pitch. And the least you can do is give them your support. Oh, and by the way, I'm making a foreign loan sign to help us with our cup run. So watch out, Rochdale. Call down the agents, Dodsey. She was available. I'll have a word with the chief executive. Agents, boss, no problem. Whatever you do, do not contact Andy Rouse. Is there Johnson in, Susan? He's in a finance meeting, Mark. Yeah. Uh, can I... Any chance for a cup of... Uh... All right, I'll make it myself. Mr Reichard? Ah, uh, Mike Bassett. No, I, I, I got the chap from the England job four years ago. I'm with... Uh, I'm with Riddle County now. As, as I was saying, I'm making a speculative call to see if you want to offload uh, any... Uh... <laughs> no, I can assure you, Frank, this is not a wind-up. I am not Jose Mourinho putting on a funny voice. Oh, come on, stop shouting, Frank, mate, come on. Be reasonable. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. It's your favourite agent, Ernie Rouse. Oh, no, not you. Out. I love it. I love this guy. Tell it like it is, Michael. I just have to get out of my office. Oh, I love it when you get angry. Hit me, baby, one more time. I will in a bloody minute. Dodsey, I told you not to call him. Hey, he phoned me, boss. Said he's got something. Well, whatever it is, it's not scruples. No, deal of the century, Michael. Deal of the century. It's a loan signing from Ajax. Oh, is that the, uh, the football team or the scouring powder people? <laughs> Seriously, young lad called Ronnie Van Needleman's going to turn your season on its head. I'm not interested, mate. Now, are you going to slither out of that door or do I have to chuck you out? Michael, have I ever let you down before? <laughs> what about that time at Norwich? You sold me a player in a coma. Mildly concussed. Besides, the doctor said he'd pull through. Pull through? They switched the machine off after two weeks. Yeah, very sad, that, yeah. Very out. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful. I've got a weak heart. Well, you expect me to believe that you've got a heart? All right, I'll take him to Chester City instead, then. Good. I'd like to see their season fall apart. Go on, sod off. Bloody chance at him. <laughs> so what do you reckon, boss? Should we uh, have a quick butchers? Put it on if you want to, Dodsey. Can't do any harm. Right. Christian Gross. Bloody hell. Oh, that's great! Oh, shit! Hey, get on the blower to Ajax, lad. Check that he's still available. Right, so, boss. And make sure he can breathe without the aid of a pump. Will do, boss. What are you doing? I'm making an executive decision. Hey! Stop in the rouse from leaving this building! Knock him on the bloody head and drag him back in if you've got to! Well, great doing business with you, Mikey. <laughs> well, I'm sure Ronnie's gonna love living on the Whittle. It's nice and flat, just like Holland. See you at four. I'll speak to you in the week. Ciao, ciao, Mikey. Uh, Richard, a quick word? Yeah, how can I help you, Mike? I've got some great news for the club. You're resigning? No. <laughs> no, it's a joke, Mike. Oh. Joke. Come on in. We've double-checked with Ajax, and uh, they've guaranteed us fitness. If we move quick, we get in under the transfer wire. It's five grand a week, 150 grand for the season, so uh, what do you say? Mike, let me give you a brief history lesson about this club. Oh, you don't have to remind me. The chairman, Sir Denzel, has given his entire life to this club. Yes, I know. Thrown huge sums of money into it down the years. An amazing man. Cost him his entire fortune. God bless him. Ruined his health and his marriage. Fantastic. And now he's lying in the local infirmary with a colostomy bag on his hip. Wonderful stuff. I don't intend to make the same mistake. Right, it's just that this... Don't interrupt me, Mike. Do you know what this is? A desk. It's a business. And like 90% of other businesses in the Football League, we're broke. Do you know what our greatest asset is? The fans. The stadium. Ten acres of prime real estate. And if we don't balance the books this season, we may be forced to sell. Oh, Jesus. Exactly. So, if you want a new signing, you're going to have to finance the deal yourself. What? Either that or get the chairman to dip into his pocket. But right now, all you'll find in there is a bag of piss. OK. No way. Forget it. No chance. Oh, maybe, love. Not maybe. No. I thought I 
was investing that money in my beauty business. You did say she could have the money for her business, boss. Well, we are investing this in the business, love. It's just not that one. Yeah, you're putting the money into the club, Mrs B. So why don't the club pay the guy's wages? Yeah, it is the club's responsibility, boss. I know, but the club's broke. All clubs are. Yeah, football's in a very sorry state, Mrs B. Well, whose problem's that? It's not ours. Yeah, let football sort itself out, eh? What do you think I am? I am football. It's his life, Mrs B. What about me? I thought I was his life, or part of it. Yeah, you have got responsibilities to your family as well, you know, boss. I'll pay it all back at the end of the season. It's a loan, not a gift. How the hell are you going to do that? It could be a tricky investment. Tricky investment? If this lad takes us up, we'll more than double that. What am I talking to you for, Dodgy? If things turn out, then everybody will... Um... Sorry. All right. Why don't we just leave the money where it is, I'll run my business from home, and you make do with the players you've got. OK? All right, love. If you say so. <laughs> Dodgy. Sorry, boss. Here we go. Our entire life savings in this little book. If the wife finds out about this, Dodgy, she'll kill me. Yeah, and me, boss. Still, remember what John Wayne said in the Alamo? There comes a time when a man has to stand up for what he believes in. Hey, that's the spirit, boss. <laughs> just before he got shot in the back and the place were overrun by Mexicans. That's it. <sighs> they should be here by now, Dodsey. What time is it? It's uh, half past, boss. Got to sign it by four o'clock or he can't play in the Carling Cup. Jesus Christ. If that Rouse has took him to Chester City, I'll wring his bloody neck. Oh, aye, aye, boss. Here they come. Here they come. Marvellous. Sorry, late, Mikey. He's so quick, he shot straight past me in arrivals. <laughs> no worries, Andy, my old mate. Hey, there was no panic here, lad. Uh, how do you do? Welcome to the Whittle. Now, you're a world-class player, and we're going to help you to put some English grit into your game. OK? Um, Mike Bassett, manager, um, w w Whittle County. Is he all right, Sandy? Oh, yeah, yeah, quite fine. He's just a spot of jet lag. <laughs> well, it's only two hours away. He hasn't been on the old uh, puff puff, has he? Have you landed yet, son? Ik moet even goed naar mijn luister houden. Ik begrijp niet wat deze kerel over heeft, hè? Yeah, there's no point talking to him. He knows speaking the lingo. <laughs> You're joking? That's only, I'm afraid. But they all speak English over there. Look at Dennis Beckham. He speaks it better than half of our lads. Don't worry about it, Mike. He's a very quick learner. He'll have to be bloody quick. He's got a press conference in 20 minutes. Should we get a translator, boss? I mean, he does speak as you know and has me a part, Odzi. I must have good to my last. You love a five minute amount of time to hour. I can tell you for two. Hey, 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 No, 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 how does Ronnie feel about coming to the Whittle, Mike? Uh, Todd, he? Um, yeah. Oh, bollocks to it. Um, how, how do you... How do you feel, feel about coming to the Whittle? Luister, kijk, ik, uh, ik verstaan echt helemaal niets van wat je zegt. Well, als je wilt er iets van verstaan, dan moet je gewoon vertalen regelen. Ik begrijp het gewoon niet. He's delighted. All right, Carlton, we're going to score today. The nobles. That's the spirit. Do you hear that, Dodsy? Ronnie's given everyone a boost. <laughs> Never gave me a boost, boss. And they're my favourites. Come on, son, you just carry on with your stretching exercises, don't you? Come on. All right, Laszlo, confident? We're going to have a second to you. Trust it, you will, Moza. Good there. Okay, not too confident, eh? Oh, and try and stay in your goal if you can. All right, lads, settle down. Come on, listen up. Righty, put the phone away. Okay, lads, this is the big one the Carling Cup. Our chance to make a mark in the fifth oldest football competition in the world. Several months from now, someone will be climbing the steps at Wembley to collect it. Yeah, yes, Jeremy? It's actually in Cardiff this year, boss. Right, right. In several months from now, someone will be climbing the steps at Cardiff to... Yeah, yes, Jeremy? 
Well, they're not steps. Uh, it's more of a raised plinth. Bloody hell, why don't you read a book or something? The point I'm trying to make is, why can't it be Whittle County? Right. Anyway, you, uh, you all know Ronnie. I'm sure you'd like to say hello like we taught you. All right. One, two, three. Oh, oh my, oh, me, yeah, me, oh, oh, and here, here. OK? Now, Ronnie is a walking, talking miracle. More of a walking miracle than a talking miracle, obviously. But I'm going to leave him on the bench for half an hour. Then I'm going to bring him on as our secret weapon. Are you getting this down, Dodgy? Uh, sort of, boss, yeah. Right. Now, if any of you are in doubt, give him the ball. If he's not available, do what you normally do. Just kick the bloody thing in the air, OK? Now, we're up against Rochdale, a team of no-hopers, so let's go for it, OK? Oh, Our oh, season oh, starts oh, now! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Come on, Skip! Get him out there! That's it! Come on, boys! Now keep it nice and tight! Come on! Don't be overboard! What do you think, Dodgy? Time to bring on our secret weapon? Oh, yes, boss, definitely. Yeah. Ronnie, you're on. Unzip, zip out, yeah. Now, OK, son, don't try anything fancy. Just do what you do for Ajax. Go on. <laughs> OK, don't you listen to this. The first and you hear it in the history of Whittle County. <laughs> but not too deep, son. Push up, push up. Up, son, push forward. What's he playing at? Oh, I get it, boss. Ronnie's not the striker in that video. He's the goalie. Oh, Jesus. You were right, though, boss. This certainly is a new error in the history of Wirral County. Not error, Dodgy. Eat it. Eat it. Bring that in, you neck. Are you there, Rouse? Mikey, what can I do for you? The kid you told me is a sodding goalkeeper. I mentioned that. Eh? I'm gonna break your bloody neck! Sorry, Mike. I'm going into a tunnel. Bounce! Bounce! Whoa! Oh, looks like Ronnie's out for the season, boss. <laughs> the money well spent, Mike. 150,000, Dulcie. What am I gonna tell the wife? Over the Christmas period, Wirral County have acquired a reputation for a Scrooge-like defence. That Scrooge, at the end of a Christmas carol, generously giving away goal after goal after goal. I caught up with coach David Dodds, who was surprisingly upbeat. To be fair, I think we are starting to show some consistency. We're bottom of the league. Yeah, yeah, but we are consistently bottom of the league, so the only way is up. Unless we get relegated. Yeah, as you say, that would be... Further down again. Good point. Good point. Bassett is back this Saturday, and let's hope he'll have three points in the bag against the behemoth.
Sch comes off. Push up, boys, that's it. Go all up for the equaliser. Attack, attack, attack. No, not too far. Get back, get back. Oh, shit. Cracking strike, though, boss. Hey, bunny. Hop it. Tell me, you got the sack from your old Disney. Oh, the twat. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't just let it anywhere, let it out! Oh, say what I mean! <laughs> Referee! He's contravening every rule in the FA book! Oh, you want a bit, do you? Do you? Hey, hey! Do you want another rabbit pumpkin? Juicy dead or come on, come on, man! Come on, man! Hello? Hello, Dodgy, can you hear me, lad? Loud and clear, boss. Okay, now look. Tell Jeremy to tuck in on the left. What? Tell Jeremy to tuck in on the left. Hang, hang on a minute. I'm sorry, love, I can't talk now. I'm in the middle of a game. I'm locked out, Mike, and I'm meant to be cutting someone's hair in about five minutes. Middle of a game, boss? What? Have you got the spare keys? You want Jeremy in the middle? No, on the left. On the left of what? No, I'm talking to Dodgy, love, love. Just try that, try down the back. I have, it's locked. Jeremy round the back, boss. Will you shut up? Don't tell me to shut up, Mike. No, not you, love, look. Go next door and try and get him off the neighbours. Get him off, bring on neighbours. Got it, boss. Will do. Not neighbours. He's injured, you bloody idiot. I am not a bloody idiot, Mike. I'm not talking to you, love. I'm not... I'm... <laughs> Jesus. Five now. <laughs> Don't even think about it, bully. The chief executive's called an emergency board meeting for Wednesday. I think I might be getting the dreaded vote of confidence, I'll see. Vote of confidence, boss? I doubt it. Not the way we've been playing. At least we've got the Tuesday game against uh, Shrewsbury Town to uh, try and put things right. Mm. Although not many come back from Game Meadow without taking an hammering. <laughs> Do you know I just said that? All right, Dodgy, let it go. You see, our bloody problem is our striker. Carlton hasn't scored for eight months. Mm. What do you reckon? Drop him? Drop him? Who do we replace him with? Our other two front men have got long-term injuries and the striker we bought from Ajax turned out to be a goalkeeper. Well, what about plundering the youth team, boss? Dodsey, they're 13 years of age. Yeah, well, if you're good enough, you're old enough. I know, but they're not terribly good either. I suppose we'd better watch the video of the weekend game, eh? You've got the wrong one. That's under siege too. Well, we could watch it anyway, might give us some ideas. Steven Siegel on an aircraft carrier? How's that going to help us? No, 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 that's Under Siege 1. Under Siege 2, he's on a train. Oh, well, in that case, Jesus, Dodsey. I tell you what, if things get any worse, they can film Under Siege 3 in our goal mouth. First time I met Mike, I was 17 and he was 32, and when you're that age, that's like 15 years older than you. I was giving Paul Madeley a bum cut at the time. And when I turned round and I said, who's next? Mike was stood right in front of me and suddenly it was, oh, it was like I'd known him all my life. He asked me over to watch him play for crew against Darlington the next Saturday, but luckily I had a prior engagement. However, the following weekend he was dropped from the team, so we went to see Zombie Dawn of the Dead at the Barnsley Odeon. And from there, I've never looked back. Ah. Oh. Love, I'm home. I tell you what, I've had a right bloody day. Who are you? No, she'll be out in a minute. Just finishing up. Love, there's a funny little woman walking around. 
Jesus, what, what, what are you lot doing? These are my customers, Mike. Hello there. Hello. Oh, oh I'd luck against Scunthorpe on Saturday. Oh, thanks. Difficult side to break down. Next time you should use your wide players to stretch their back line. Right, well, if I need any advice, I, uh, I know where to come. And you've got a lot of pace in midfield. It would be nice to see some balls threaded into the channels. Oh, you as well, eh? With right his left peg pinging crosses in from the byline, Carlton will be able to use his strength in the air to dominate the six-yard box. Oh, all right, Hanson and Lonelton, get your coats on. And... Thank you, ladies. Bye-bye. See Bye. you next week. Thank you. Bye. 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 I never thought we were going to leave. So is uh, business doing all right? Yes, booming. How about you? Uh, I've had better weeks. Oh, I'll be back. Sit down. Come on. That's it. Oh. Oh, you must try and relax. Now, try and imagine that you're in a, in a quiet, undisturbed spot. Can you see it? Yeah. Scunthorpe's gold mouth on Saturday. Mike, you really have to try and conquer this stress. You should read this. Unlock the power of the mind. Hmm? More like empty the pockets of the gullible. No, 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 it's very good. It's that Dr Moss. He does a lot of sports psychology stuff. How do you remember that fella off the television? It's Mesmos, isn't it? He? he used to have his own hypnotism show in the 1980s. What was it? Mystical Mesmos. Well, he's doing all right now. He helped the Greek football team to win Euro 2004. Hey, hey just give us it back a minute. <laughs> I would now like you to read a copy of today's Times. There we are, today's paper, as you can see. Could you read that out for us, please? Average British Rail and London transport fares are set to increase. Bouncy, bouncy, squeeze one out, Staff Sergeant. <laughs> I'm a random bum What's this bit he drops his throat in there? to be <laughs> All right, lads, I'd, uh, I'd like you to meet Dr Moss. Will you turn that off, please? I'm a psychoanalyst with a PhD from Reading University. I don't like being treated as a circus sideshow. You should show a better respect, Dodsey. This man's a bona fide nut doctor. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Ms. Moss. Oh, is it Moss? Dr. Moss? Yes, that's what I meant. All right, Dodgy, get the lads outside. Uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. Right, lads, come on, quick smart now. Come on, lads, move it now, please, come on. Uh, not you, Carlton. Now, Carlton, we're going to start with a simple test. I'm going to say a word, and I want you to say the first word that comes into your head. All right? Goal. Sorry. That's all right. Happy. Meal. Very good. Off. Side. Clear. Miss. Hope. Less. Half. Wit. Good. God. No, I mean you're doing very well. Oh, right. Is that everything then, boss? Are you, are you thinking we're in for a long haul here, son? Come on now, boys, no need to be frightened of her reputation. She's returned and only human like the rest of us. How are you, Carlton? You all right, son? Feel great, boss. It's really cleared my mind. That Ms. Moss knows his stuff, boss. This lad is transformed. Fantastic, Dodsy. All right, son, get out there. Back a half, full. Come on now, boys! This is the turning point! Come on! Three goals. All in his own net. Stop that bloody check to Mesmos, will you, Dodsey? Uh, board meeting tomorrow morning, Mike. Don't forget to be there. Mike, glad you could make it. A couple of fans chased me across the car park. I just managed to get over the fence in time. Sorry I'm late, everybody. Not the first time this season you've come in last. 
Anyway, down to business. As you know, I recently returned from a trip to Scandinavia where I met someone of great interest to this club. If you mean Thomas Thomason from Malmo, let me just say, uh, lock up your secretaries. I've heard he makes Sven Goran Eriksson look like Cliff Bloody Richards. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mike. I was in fact referring to Wim Beiderfeld, CEO of Norwegian furniture giant Norbik. For those of you who haven't heard of them, Norbik are a bit like Ikea, but slightly cheaper. Anyway, they're looking to launch their first UK superstore, and the good news is Wirral County Football Club is their number one site. Yeah. Yeah. Vim has offered to buy us out for a staggering 85 pence a share. And anyone owning over 2,000 shares will get a free Erkstad side table and a From Goat Desk Lamp. Nice. Oh, well done. Nice. <laughs> uh, if all goes well, the bulldozers will roll in at the end of the season. <laughs> yes. Well, what's going to happen to Whittle County? You can't turn a football club into a bloody furniture shop. <laughs> Not any furniture shop. The largest furniture superstore in the UK. Yeah. The chairman won't let you get away with this, Johnson. Oh, I wouldn't mention it to him, Mike. Not in his condition. Oh, he'll hear about it all right, and when he does, mate, you'll be out on your bloody ear. I doubt it. You see, he only owns 35% of this club. The rest belongs to us, the shareholders. Three cheers for Norbic. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! 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 Thank you. Love, this has to be the worst day of my entire. All right then. Mrs. Wainwright's just leaving. See you again next week, Mrs. Wainwright. Bye. Bye bye. You haven't got any more working in here, have you? No, last one of the day. So what's happened? You haven't oh. been given the chop again, have you? Oh, it's worse than that. They want to bulldoze the stadium and replace it with a furniture superstar. What, like in Ikea? No, some cheap Norwegian outfit. Oh. Well, the club is on its last legs. Maybe it's for the best. Well, they can't just kill it off, love, can they? Hey, your relationship with your club, it's like a... It's, it's, it's like a marriage. You have your highs and your lows. And your really lows. Yeah. But you go back week after week because football gives you hope. You don't get hope from a flat-packed shelving unit, do you? The only hope you get is that the bugger doesn't fall down. So what are you going to do about it? What can I do? It's all been sewn up by the board. That doesn't sound like the Mike Bassett I know. Did you give up when Norwich were trailing Chelsea 4-0 in the Rumbelows Cup? No, I did not. No, you didn't. You went on to win it 5-4 in the last minute. <laughs> Till Swindon knocked you out in the quarter-finals. Ah, uh, yeah. No, what you've got to do is take this to the people. You've got to say to them, this is your club and you've got to fight for it. Do you know what? You're right, love. And if you want some furniture, why not try World of Leather in Runcorn? It's only 20 minutes' drive away. That's the spirit. Save the county, ladies and gentlemen. Your county needs you. Save the county. Save the county. Save... Laszlo, no! He didn't mean it, Laszlo! Let him live, son! Let him live! Sorry about that, mate. There we go. Save the county. What's this? Well, they're trying to close our football club down, aren't they? And replace it with a giant furniture store. Oh, fantastic! Thanks! I don't think we're getting through to people, Dodsey. Ah, here they are. There's the press now. Here you are, lads. Is this what you've come for? Okay. Now hear this, people of Ellesmere Port. The Whittle County Board plans to sell off your club and build a furniture superstore in its place. Now we're talking three floors of retail space spread over 27,000 square feet. They'll be offering a range of cheap Scandinavian flat pack furniture. Oh, 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 there's more. There's going to be a crash, park and ride facilities, and a restaurant offering a wide selection of meatballs. Are you just going to sit back and let that happen? Yeah. Hello, love. Hello. Hello, ladies. Hello. Well, we've done our bit, love. So I see. Hey! Oh, I bet Johnson's shaking in his boots. 
They did a straw poll of local opinion. 85% of the town said no. Yes! Hey, I knew it. That'll show the board. That's no to keep in the football club. Hey? Jesus! i better stop the chairman from seeing this, eh? He could send him over the edge. Bye-bye, ladies. Bye. Bye. Just a minute. I'll take your dentals in. Thank you. Hello, Sir Denzel. Mike Bassett. Whittle manager. Have you uh, have you seen the news today? No, no. Good, good. Sports news now. It looks like Wirral County Football Club is being sold off. Plans are afoot to turn it into a massive furniture superstore. Oh, you don't want to be listening to that bloody stuff. Turn it off. Have you got the bloody control, Sir Denzel? Over Eight feet inches and just shut down. Get swear feet. Up here. A range of cheap, Scandinavian, flat pack trainers. Where's the volume control? Help! 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 The club sale really seems to have caught the public mood. All right, Johnson, go and gloat elsewhere. Actually, I've got something to see you. Vim Beiderfeld, head of Norvik. He's a big fan. <laughs> nice work, Mike. As a small thank you, we'd like to send you a Frommgill table lamp and a Lodstrom desk tidy. You keep it, Beiderfeld. I don't want your blood money. Oh, careful, Mike. Still need somebody to manage the store. Go on, get out now, the two of you. Right now, I've still got a football club to run. Not for much longer. We've got a press conference this afternoon. We're going public. See ya. Goodbye. <laughs> You've got a bloody nerve, haven't you? Yeah. Still, if you're sure you don't want that table lamp. Oh. What do you want, Moss? Mr. Bassett. Now, that cheque you wrote me bounced. Are you going to pay up or what? Mr. No, we haven't got enough to contend with. Dodgy, throw this charlotte now to my office. Come on, Tom. Well, take your hands off me. Have you any idea who I am? I, 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 hang on a minute, Dodgy. Have a. I've just had a thought. Mike, glad you could make it. Wouldn't miss this for the whale, Johnson. Ah, oh, Mr. Byderfeld, have you met my associate, Dr. Moss? How do you do? Good luck with your conference. No, you don't need luck when you hold all the aces, Mike. <laughs> Excuse us. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure you've heard, Wirral County Football Club will be replaced at the end of this season by the largest furniture superstore in the UK. This is thanks to our alliance with Vim Beiderfeld of Norbeck, who will now read a prepared statement. Thank you, Richard. Uh, we at Norbeck very much look forward to working with you, the people of the Wirral. You, more than anyone, have the reputation throughout Europe of being a bunch of thieving bastards, and nothing will give us more pleasure than fleecing you of your hard-earned disability benefit, selling you overpriced tat, which takes two days to assemble, but which falls apart in under an hour. But first, let's bulldoze the shithole and remove your second-class culture, replacing it with third-class furniture. <laughs> and now, I'd like to show you my Norwegian ass. <laughs> <laughs> I bloody love that one, boss. <laughs> Look at that dodgy lad. Vim Weiderfeld chased out of town by angry locals. And 93% of the people want to keep the football ground exactly as it is. You can't beat people, Power Boss. You certainly can't. <laughs> all right, Johnson. Managed to get through the crowds all right? 
Yeah, it's very funny, Mike. This is a thousand pound suit. Not anymore, this isn't. <laughs> oh, look at where it is. It's the man himself. What can we do for you, son? Just pop round and pick up my cheque, Mike. Steady on. Didn't Dodgy pay you yesterday? Oh, I don't think he did. Do you? Make another cheque out, Dodgy? Should we pay him double, boss? Fans of a nervous disposition may wish to look away now. Another day, another defeat. It just gets worse and worse for Woeful Whittle. Manager Mike Bassett is starting to experience the first murmurings of discontent. But the playful Whittle with the side, Bassett remains in combative mood. Hey, I mate, get this on film, will you? We've got a big game today, and obviously I hope we get a result. But whatever happens, this is what matters. This kid here. What's your name, son? Liam. Now, Liam's our mascot today, and this is the greatest day of his life. And how long have you been waiting, lad? No time at all. They just said turn up. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I actually support Liverpool, but there's a four-year waiting list. <laughs> Do you hear that? Four years. It's amazing, isn't it? Hey, amazing. Right, come on. Just cut out after I say it's the greatest day of his life, OK? Come on, Riddle, get stuck in there! Let's bloody murder him! Hey, what's your language, Dodgy? There's a kid present to you. Come on, move it! Yes. Referee, there's another two minutes to go! 4 nil down at half-time. I'll give them a team talk they'll never forget. Oh. Right, you lot. You know what you are, don't you, eh? I'm going to tell you. You're an absolute... Whoa, 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 boss. My language, your language, lad. You're an absolute flaming disgrace. You're playing like a shower of... Shameless footballers and de defending... Defending like... But blithering idiots. For, 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 for crikey's sake, you nickwits. Come on, come on. Pull your fingers out of your... Out of your ear hole and stop playing like a bunch of old <laughs> walruses. Walruses? Yes, walruses. Right, you heard the gaffer. Come on, let's sort it out second half. I'm sorry you've had to listen to all that, son. They deserve it, Mr. Bassett. They've been playing like wankers. You know what, Bassett? You're a waste of space. Do you hear me? You're going to get your windows wrecked, just like you wrecked our club. You better not walk down any dark alleyways, Bassett. I can't believe you've done this. I just wasn't thinking. Gary Bloody Glitch is more popular than me at the moment. You go and put my phone number in the local paper. It's also my number. I'm running a business. How else are my customers supposed to contact me? Telepathy? 36 calls. I didn't know we had that many fans left. Maybe you should get an extra line put in, boss. Oh, good idea, Dodgy. Why don't we go the whole hog and open the call centre out in India? 
Come on, let's wipe this lot off. Do you mind? Some of those messages are from my customers. Uh, it doesn't stop them shouting foul mouth abuse at me, does it? That's nothing compared to what you'll get from me if you press that delete button. All right, look, I'll, I'll go through them, but go on, you go and make a cup of tea. I don't want you listening to that lot. It'll only upset you. Of course, you know the real answer to this, don't you? I need my own premises. Love, we've been through this. Why not? The business is really taking off and I could use the nest egg to buy a bigger place on the high street. The nest egg? We can't touch the nest egg, love. No, no it's for our future and for Jason and his kids. If he ever has any. I suppose you're right. More tea, Dodsey? Oh, uh, yes, please, Mrs B. I suppose you'll be stopping over again tonight, will you? Well, it's a bit of a drive back to Birkenhead, yeah. so... Boss, I thought you'd already spent the nest egg. You don't know that, Dodsey. No, I, I do. You used it to buy Ronnie Van Needleman's, you know, the, the Dutch lad. I mean, you're not supposed to know about it. It's our secret, isn't it? I'm going to pay that money back every last penny. So what she doesn't know about won't worry her. OK, right. Let's get this over with, eh? You play the messages and I'll write them down. Hey, no, don't, don't write them down, boss. It'll only make you feel worse. The messages for Kareem. All oh, right. I wouldn't mind giving you a bit of facial treatment, Bassett. Next. We know where you live, Bassett. Next. Oh, hello, Kareem. It's Sue Wainwright. I'd just like to confirm my aromatherapy appointment for Thursday. And by the way, you're shite, you are, Bassett. <laughs> Hey, you boss! You'll never guess who this is! That's bloody Tonka! It's Tonka, actually! <laughs> Long time no see, eh? He's got a blinking nerve, hasn't he? Anyway, I hope you're well and stuff. And, oh, bollocks, me credits run out like, oh, where's me pocket gone? He sounds drunk. Huh, so what's new? Look, I'll ring you, but. Shall I do 1471 ringing back? You're joking, are you? I never want to see the lion drunken Geordie again. Come on, let's get through the rest of them and speed them up, son. Master, if you don't sort this team up, why don't you show us up your ass? I'm coming round your place with an ice pick, Tim. Come round for a manicure next month. I hope you die a slow and painful death. Mike! Mike, Michael! I think someone's just broken a window downstairs. Right. He's gone far on No, we should call the police. No chance, I'll handle this. Dodsey! Dodsey! What's going on, boss? Someone's broken into the house. We're going to do a Tony Martin. Start living La Vida Log? That's bloody Ricky Martin. Come on. Hey, you got him for a good night. No, boss, where Log? It's Tonka. Hiya, boss. You're right. You twerp! Uh. I'll tell you what, boss. You've got a cracking right up there. And I've been punched by a lot of people in my time, I can tell you that. <laughs> you do surprise me. Well, unless you want another demonstration, just drink up and sod off. Oh, Rito. Will do. Thanks, boss. Got another biscuit. Aye, can he? <clears throat> Sorry about the window, right? I was trying to find the doorbell. And as it turns out, the reason I couldn't find it was because it was actually the window. Just look at you, lad. You're a bloody disgrace. What's happened to you? The finest footballer of your generation, you could have been another Pelly. Yeah, or another George Best. Where did it all go wrong? It wasn't my fault, boss. I was getting my life back together. I was out in Thailand scoring goalies again. Even got myself hitched to a canny little Thai lass. A Thai bride? Oh, got her from the catalogue, did you? That romantic! No, I wasn't like that, boss. I really loved her. Oh, I things were all working out great. And, and then... And then you pissed it all away again, as usual. No, it wasn't my fault. This one game, I went in for this tackle, a bit heavy, right? Well, I picked on the wrong player. Turns out his brother was a big cheese in the Thai Mafia. I am telling you straight, this gangster gets me fired from the club. I'm lucky to escape with my life. A gangster? In the Thai Mafia? Aye, oh, it was a real deal. Even had a finger missing an eye like they do. Oh, hang on. Isn't that the Japanese Mafia? Ah, oh, yeah, he was Japanese. So what was he doing in the Thai Mafia? Well, he'd come over under some kind of transfer deal. But his brother was Thai? Aye, oh, well, he was an adopted brother, like. <laughs> come on, Tonka, on your way. Sorry, boss, I admit it. There was no gangster. 
And maybe I was drinking a bit. But the club overreacted, like, they didn't give us a chance, and now my wife's kicked me out, and I love the boss. I'm at my wit's end. That's why I've come here, because you're the only person I can turn to. I don't know what it is you want from me, Tonka, but the answer is no. No, oh, you don't understand. I don't want you to give me anything. I want to give you something. I'm offering to play for Will. <laughs> Have I got mug written on my forehead? No, boss, no. Please, boss, you're my only hope. I won't let you down, I promise. I'm off the bottle for good, you know, this time. Aye, finito. I'd like to believe you, lad. I really would. But I can't. Aye. Fair enough, boss. It's no less than I deserve when you think about it. And don't worry. I'll never ask you for anything again. Oh, good. You wouldn't have some money for the taxi, would you? The hell. Go on, shut up. You did the right thing, boss. Aye. Well, it's a crying shame now to see how far a man can fall. Oh, it was only into the flower bed. I've given that lad so many chances, you know. <laughs> Do you remember Charlie Brown? He used to play for Grimsby. No, no, the, the cartoon strip. The one with what's his name in? Um, Snoopy. Well, every week, the girl used to put a football on the ground. And then she'd ask Charlie Brown to kick it. And every week, that gullible lad used to run up, aim a kick at the ball, and she'd whip it out the way. And Charlie would end up flat on his backside. Well, I've decided I'm not going to kick that ball anymore. So... Hang on. Is Tonka the ball? No, Tonka's the girl. R right, so you're the ball? No, I'm Charlie Brown. But who's Snoopy? I never mentioned Snoopy. Yes, you did. Yes, but not in the metaphor, I never, did I? Look, it's a bit early in the morning for this. The point is, I'm not falling for Tonka's lies anymore. Too right, boss. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, settle down, please. I'd like to thank you all for coming at uh, such short notice. But I would like to introduce our new signing, and I'm sure you all remember him. Oh. <laughs> How'd you get the bruise, Tonka? Champagne cork? Nah, the boss hit me leg. <laughs> come on now, Tonka, come on. No more porkies. Tonka, how many fingers am I holding up? One less than this, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> come on now, lads. We, we, we've had our fun. Serious questions only. Uh, Mike, bearing in mind the past, why in God's name are you taking him on again? Look, we all know the history here, and I'm sure there's some of you who are going to question my sanity. But I am convinced that the Kevin Tonkinson you see before you today is a reformed man. Oh, you know, it's like the boss said. I've grown up. I'm a loyal servant of the county now, and uh, to prove it, I've even had a world county tattoo done. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have to pay for the O. Oh, 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 hey! He's still got the old magic, eh? Oh, it's incredible, boss. He's making them look even worse than they are. There's not a lot of players can do that. Ah, but he's got to win the team over, hasn't he? You know, at the end of the day, it's all about camaraderie. <laughs> Danny camaraderie, boss. He used to play for Everton. Never mind, son. Just call the boys in. Right, lads. Enough for today. Well done, Tonke. Thanks, boss. Hey, boss, just one thing, right? I was just telling the lads what a great penalty taker you used to be. Well, I wouldn't say great. Oh, I remember in training you used to send the keeper the wrong way every time. No, nah, but that was only David Seaman. You see, it's all in the eyes. Oh, go on, show us, boss, eh? All right, lads, low in goal, son. Landed on your arse this time, haven't you? 
Signing Kevin Tonkinson. He'll bankrupt us before you even get us relegated. Don't get your arm, man. He knickers in a twist, Johnson. Tonkinson's playing for expenses only. This is not about money. This is a concept you wouldn't understand. You don't say. No. And you tell your property developing friends to stick their plans up their split-level atrium. That lad is going to save this club. Just like he saved England before the Liechtenstein game, eh, Mike? Still look on the bright side. At least we can be sure of a good knees up when the club folds. Hey. Oh, what a day I've had. I tell you what, I'll swing for that bloody Johnson one of these days. <laughs> hey, what you should have seen Tonka, no kid. <laughs> He's lost none of that old... Uh... Are you all right, love? You're giving Tonker another chance? I know, love. It's a risk, but I think it's a risk we're taking. Even though he let you down so badly? Oh, badly isn't the word, does it? Hey, the sod cost me the England job. All we had to do was put three pass lists in time. Bad enough he had to go and get slaughtered the night before the game, but he had to go and take the back four with him. Two of them ended up in jail, one in hospital, and... We've never, ever found a fourth fella. And yet still you're letting him back into your life? Maybe I'm a mug, but I've always believed if there's good in someone, you've got to keep looking till you find it. And if he lets you down again? Oh, that's it, it's over. You can't give people chances forever, can you? You've got to draw the line somewhere. Listen to this, Mike. Oh, not another bloody death threat, love. Oh, hello, Mr and Mrs Bassett. Gareth Morris here from North West Building Society. Just wanted a quick word about the savings account. Mr. Morris was wondering why we'd withdrawn our nest egg. Oh? Is there something you want to tell me, Mike? You haven't spent it on another player, have you? Oh, Jesus Christ. That money was supposed to be for our future and for Jason and his kids. If he ever has any. I could have been Mrs. Norman Hunter, Mike. That's right. I gave it all up for you. I'll pay it all back, love. The interest and everything. If you lie to me one more time, I'm leaving. You have to draw the line somewhere. Well, what a momentous day for Whittle County. Mike Bassett's shock signing certainly appears to have caught the fans' imagination. So you can say what you like about Tonka, but when was the last time an England player played for Whittle? Probably the last time Tonka was sober. <laughs> so positive is the fans' reaction that Tonka T-shirts are even out selling Mike Bassett voodoo dolls. So forget Germany. Forget Brazil. Look out, Wickham. Today's the day that Kevin Tonkinson takes the field as a Whittle County player. Where the hell is he? He should have been here two hours ago. Checks all the pubs, boss, and the off licenses. Now, but try your own, boys. We think they've got a special offer on White Spirit. Right, you lent that in a minute, as you like. It's not your answer, it's wrong. Come on, pick it up, you Geordie get! Hey, hear that, boss? That's Tonka's ringtone. Where, where's it coming from? It's coming from the cupboard. Hey! All right, boss. What's this, Tonka? Pete snaps with a hit at the apricot. After all you've said? You piss, lad. Look at you, you're in a mess. It's not my fault, boss. Oh, no, it never is. It's the wife, Sue Sheen. I don't want to hear about it, lad. You're not just drinking at the last chance saloon now. You're barred from it. But she's dead, boss. Sue Sheen's dead. Are you trying to provoke me? <laughs> I'm telling you straight, she was hit by a car. Swerved to avoid a lava. Ha! Christ, is that the best you can do? You can't even lie properly now, can you? There are no sodden llamas in Thailand. It escaped from the local zoo. The car swerved. <laughs> Don't tell me it hit it on the zebra crossing. Well, I tell you what, Tonka, 
I'm up to there with your snivelling lies. Oh, I have to live in the rail world, not in the make-believe Tonka world, which is full of Japanese gangsters and runaway llamas. Yeah, boss, just a quick word. Just a minute. How did she die? Did it do a dance on a little head with its little llama hooves? Boss, boss, the, the paper, look. Oh, shit. Oh, it's cold, man! It's supposed to be cold. Only ten minutes till kick-off, boss. I'm taking a big risk, you know. The FA get hold of this. Oh, I won't lay it down, boss. I promise. <coughs> oh. He didn't know if it's there, boss. It's not just the booze, it's the grief. But he wants to play dodgy. He'd rather play him pissed than the rest of them sober. Ready, boss. I'm only doing this because you told me the truth for once. I know, boss. I love you. I, I, I'm sorry about all that stuff about the, uh, the llama dancing on your wife said it was a bit insensitive in retrospect. <laughs> What a run it's been for Wonder Wirral. A six-game winning streak has lifted us out of the relegation zone and in sight of the playoffs. And all thanks to Kevin Tonka Tonkinson. The reformed bad boy has been an inspiration. Even striker Colton Dawes has broken his goal drought by scoring what can only be described as a two-yard throater. Tonka's form is all the more remarkable when you consider that only two months ago, his beloved wife was killed in a tragic llama-based incident. But the gaffer's faith in him has been rewarded as Mike Bassett picks up the Bells Manager of the Month award from England legend, Jimmy Greaves. Well played. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. I've always been a big fan. Likewise. Well done, mate. Thank you. 
Bloody hell, Dodge, he's drank half of it. Bassett's back in the driving seat, and with Tonka leading the way, anything's possible. a diamond. He's transformed them players. Unrecognisable boss. Not only on the pitch, Dodgy, but off the pitch as well. When you put down Raylar, rain like the wind, man! That's completely insane, man. I really think we should all just sit down now. We must be travelling at nearly 75 miles per hour. Get on the coach, eh? Hey? Like not with the called team spirit. <laughs> Do you know what? I can't help thinking there's a lesson here, boss. I mean, it's all very well trying to overtake another coach on the inside lane of a dual carriageway with a driver who can't see, but it does have its dangerous side. <laughs> That's easy to say with hindsight. <laughs> hey, just imagine if Tonka got injured. Oh, that don't bear thinking about, boss. <laughs> hey. Hey, if anything happened to him, we'd be completely stuffed. Just like Mansfield. <laughs> well, every cloud has a silver lining. Oh, aye. Of course. Mike wasn't my first boyfriend. Back then, I dated quite a few footballers, mainly from the Leeds area, because they used to pop into the salon for a quick perm on their way to the ground. My first proper boyfriend was Trevor Cherry. Kind of apt, I suppose. Then I went out with David Harvey, the goalkeeper, till he dropped me. And then there was Peter Lorimer. Now, he could break a goalpost at 20 paces, could Peter. Broke a few bedposts as well. Still, happy days. All right, is uh, Green's House of Ill Repute open for business then? I'm here for aromatherapy, actually. How about you, love? Plastic surgery? <laughs> I'm only joking. Put the kettle on, Dodgy. Right, <laughs> Six wins in a row, love, and I definitely fancy our chances against Mansfield next week. Blimey, what's he got there? Do you mind, Mike? I'm in the middle of a waxing. All right, love, keep your hair on. And you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Out! Out! We're all capped an excellent month with a 3-1 victory sealed by yet another goal for new signing Kevin Tonkinson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not such good news for Mansfield, though, whose players were involved in a coach crash on the A617. Luckily for Mansfield, there were no serious injuries. However, their strike force and their... Limelight and lipstick. Give us that, Dodgy. An evening of Broadway melodies. It's just our Jason's end of year show that he's doing at college. Blimey. That sports degree course has changed since I was at Loughborough. He's not at Loughborough anymore. He's at the Liverpool School of Performing Arts. All right. Doing what? What do you think? Performing arts, of course. A little bit of acting, a bit of singing. A little bit of dancing. Dancing? Well, you know, musical theatre. <laughs> well, he likes musicals. Nothing wrong with that, boss. You know, I mean, just just because he likes musicals, that doesn't mean he's, you know, some some kind of musical lover. Exactly, Dodgy. I mean, lots of blokes like musicals. Jason Donovan, a bloke from Steps. Just drop it, Dodgy. Okay. Here she is, Liverpool's top beautician. Congratulations, Mike. You just managed to frighten off another bunch of my clients. Just a little bit of innocent leg pulling, love. Hey, it was better than what you were pulling at, wasn't it? <laughs> Ooh, straight down the mercy tunnel, eh, Dodsey? <laughs> Painful, boss. I'm trying to run a business. I wish you'd show me more respect. Dodsey, feet off. Sorry, Mrs. B. And you better be coming to that on Friday night. You're meant to be giving out the prize for best performer. Wild horses wouldn't drag me away, love. Hello? 
Die Eier ist hier. Hello? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, that is good news. Oh, thanks very much indeed, yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, what a relief. The chairman's come out of his coma. Hey, things are looking up, Totsy. Bloody hell, Sir Denzel. You had us worried there for a while. That was a close thing, Mark. I had one of them near-death experiences. I was on this pure white football pitch, bathed in this beautiful light. All the greats were there. Stanley Matthews, Dixie Dean, Tommy Lawton, Billy Wright at the back. No Bobby Moore, Sir Denzel. Didn't see him, lad. Surely you should have had Bobby Moore out there. What, why don't you drop Billy Wright? You can't drop Wright, eh? All right. Well, push him into midfield. Bring on Stuart Pearce. Stuart Pearce isn't dead. So? Hey, it's his near-death experience. Now shut up or you'll be getting one of your own. It's great to have you back, Sir Denzel. We'll save this grand old club yet, Mike. <laughs> Is there anything we can do for you before we go? Can you get me moved to another ward? This one's full of... Bloody Mansfield players. <laughs> All right, lads. <laughs> Just look at him, Dodgy, eh? He's pure magic. He's got more tricks than Paul Daniels in a bunco booth, boss. 14 new to the tongue, yeah? Woo. Here, boss. You see that bloke over there? He's mad, you know. He's a stark that's been pestering me for months. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, yeah. pull the other one, eh? No, no, I mean it, boss. Honestly, he's got an exclusion order and everything. He's not allowed within five miles of us. Really? Yeah. All right, well, you stay here, son, and we'll call the police. Oi! Why don't you leave us alone, eh? All right, lad, we'll handle it from now on. Why don't you go and bother someone else, you bloody nut, eh? He's got a gun, boss. Tonka, look out! He's got a firearm! <laughs> Tonka! 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 Uh, Call an ambulance quick, Dodsey! Speak to me, son, come on! Speak to me! I can't hear you, son! Speak to me! I bloody love you, boss! <laughs> <laughs> You've been tugging! Classic Spike, we got it! Hey! Woo! 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 <laughs> Boss, I'd like you to meet me best mate, Spike. Your best mate, I'll kill you! Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 Don't kill him, we can't afford it! He's bad news, that fella, Dodgy. He's the last thing we need around here. It's a nightmare, boss. Oh, it's great to see Spike in it, boss, yeah? He's a real character. He's a real something, isn't he? Aye. What's he doing here? Aye, he's getting married, boss. Are you kidding me? Someone's marrying Nat. Aye. And this will be the big one. Fifth time lucky. Ah, oh, can't wait for the stag do at the weekend, eh? The stag do? Aye. Be a real laugh. Last time we all had to go to casualty with alcohol poisoning, he had to have a traffic corner removed from his arse. Pretty magnificent it was. Jesus Christ. Who else is coming, Spike? Oh, the guy will be there. Puga, Madhead, Toadix. Toadix? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I'm not letting you go to that. But I've got to go, boss. I'm the best man. Again? No chance. I'm sorry, lad. I'm not risking you coming off the wagon. But, boss, this stag night means the world to him. His kids will be there and everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tonka. The answer's no, and that's final. But, boss, if you don't let me go, it'll do me head in. And then the demons will come back. And the darkness. Hey, stop it, stop it. Now, come on, come on. I'm going to let you go on one condition. No alcohol, no fighting, no kebabs. Boss! Now, it's either that or not at all. All right, boss, if you insist, but... Spike's not going to be very happy at all about this, you know. Oh, good. You, uh, sure that's wise, boss? Don't worry, Dodsey. 
We'll go along. We'll make sure he keeps out of trouble. <laughs> oh, nice one, boss. We will chaperone him like a hawk. <laughs> This'll be the best Friday night you've ever had, Tonka. <laughs> Come on, love. We don't want to be late for Jason's big night. How do I look? You look smashing. <sighs> no, gorgeous. You know, it means so much to him you coming tonight. You can't keep me away from a good musical. La 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 he Should we leave it? Oh, I better get it. Hello? Yes, yes. It's the hospital again. What's the matter? No. No. The German who's had a relapse. Yeah, but how bad is it? I don't know, boss. I'm not a doctor. You just said phone up and pretend the chairman were ill. It's worse than 50 50. I never said that. You're putting words in my mouth there. <laughs> no, 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 of course, no. I'll be there right away. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, love. I'm going to have to go. But what about Jason's showcase? I know, love, but it's the chairman the reading him his last rites. If this is a stunt, I'll be reading you your last rites. You're supposed to be giving a speech. I know that, love, but I'm sure you'll think of something to say. And after all, he's your son, too. How's Tonka been? Is he still on the wagon? Oh, aye, boss. All he's had so far is a couple of intros. Best be careful, though, because the, uh, the paparazzi are knocking about. Oh, no, that's all we need. All right, all right. Come to water. Here's our plan for the evening. Force to snog a barmaid, wins a pony. Yeah! Yeah! Force to punch a butcher, wins a monkey. Yeah! And the first to punch a pony and to snog a monkey, wins a barmaid. Yeah! All right, all right. Next oh. stop, Oscars. It's happy hour, but we ain't just going to be happy. We're going to be para bloody yeah! Yeah! The big girls in there, we'll never get them out. All right, lads. If you're looking for a wild night out in Ellesmere Port, I know just the place! Come on, follow me! I always say you can't beat a pizza hut for a great time. Oh, well, man, this is rubbish. When are we going to hit the bars, Lake? Well, let your food settle, you don't want to be sick. That's exactly what I want. All in good time. I know things have started off slow, but they're soon going to hot up each other, OK? Oh, right. Right. I've ordered... Maple waffles for pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Meals over, lads. Let's rock this tour! Yeah! Yeah! Just a minute, son. Let's sort the bill out first, eh? Thank you. Garlic bread. You had the extra garlic bread. Oh, I thought it was you. Hang on. Mixed salad. I'm sorry, love, there's a mistake here. You'll have to go through that again. Great, let's get on with it. I'll be bloody divorced when I'm not stagnant. <laughs> Tonga! Hey! Let the fun and games comment! Hey! Hey, hey, I hang on, if it's fun and games you're after, I know just the place. We're not gonna to make a bingo, right? Just a couple of lines. We're gonna get slaughtered. Come on, boys! Hey! Here we go. Make a pint. How oh, well, man? Get us a dozen wickets with a top off, and my mates will have this here. Yeah. 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 A can of lint, please, pal. Actually, pet, no, you better make that a diet lint. Yeah, be on the safe. Ah, yeah, deep boring, we're sober, man. Oh, pet. Boss, the barmaid spiking Tonka's lilt. Bloody naughty. Oh, you're gone, Tom. Get her to your neck. Right. I'm uh, busting for a lightly sparkling pineapple drink here. Uh, cheers! Oh, oh, oh. 
pineapple certainly hit the spot. <laughs> you all right, boss? Can't let her drop past his lips, does he? Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Bassett. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in midair. Send in the clowns. Isn't it? Bliss, don't you approve? One who keeps tearing around, one who can't move. Where are the clowns? Send in the clowns. Isn't it rich? Isn't it queer? Losing my timing this late in my career. And where are the clowns? They're all to be clowned Don't bother They're here uh, Come on! Come on, I'll take the three of you now! Yes, man! I hear you, your boss, man! I think we better keep an eye on him, does he? Oh, oh we will chaperone him like a hawk, Tonka. I was just enjoying myself at the bloody thought police had to interfere! You've covered a dozen people in alcohol! Uh, now leave it! Hey! Three! Three! Hey! Put that camera down! Oh, no, I don't need it! Boss, he's a member of Hull Majesty's Press! Give me the air! Bloody to me! One more! Hey! Oh, please! Oh, boss, I've done me back again! Funny how we ended up in hospital after all, innit, boss? Oh, bloody hysterical, Dodgy. How's the head? Damn sight better than Tonka's back. I still can't believe he's out for the season. Still, could be worse. Look what them bouncers did to Spike. I didn't know you could get a traffic cone that far up your arse, did you? It's an uncanny talent, boss. With no Tonka to rely on, what happens to the rest of our season? I tried to think, boss. Anyway, better get home. Your miss will be wondering what's happened to you. <laughs> Let's hope she never finds out. Mm. We we'll see you later, Tonka lad, OK? Oh, 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 oh sorry, son. Kareen? She's gone, does she? I think she might have seen this, boss. Oh, no. Shall I get some drinks in, boss?
hard two months for Whittle County boss Mike Bassett. Following the injury to midfield maestro Kevin Tonka Tonkinson, the club have suffered ten straight defeats on the bounce. And Bassett's erratic behaviour has brought him a hearing with the Football League which could see him lose his coaching badge. It all began with his bizarre display after the referee awarded a penalty against Berry. But Bassett's excitement was cut short when striker Carlton Dawes spectacularly failed to convert. And the shit hit the fan quite literally last Saturday when Bassett went ballistic at Carlisle United. It was left to the man himself to explain his actions in pure Cantonese. When the goose flies home in winter, the badgers often gather at the back of the tractor. Bassett's Football League hearing has been postponed until the close season, but with his team at the foot of the table with only one game to go, the question everyone's asking is, has Mike Bassett lost the plot? Hey! How, how, how are you sleeping, boss? Hey, hey, not too bad, Dodgy. You get me eight hours a day. Eight hours a night, boss. Can't sleep at night, just of a day. Jesus. I keep phoning the wife, you know. She's staying at her sister's. Yeah, but every time I call, she's out shopping. Of course, it's just an excuse. She doesn't want to speak to me. No, no, not necessarily, boss. You know, Doncaster has got a bloody nice shopping district. Hey, she'll be back soon, boss. I've been a fool, Dodsy, and I've got what I've deserved. You're going to get a bit more now, boss. Look oh, at this, lot. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, hey. my, look at this. Oh. Why are these so angry? Oh, hey, hey. Come, on, come on now, come on. Hey. Hey, just look at them. They're like bloody madmen. Well, at least that lad who pesters you for your autograph's gone, boss. Oh, thanks. That's really cheered me up. My dad shouldn't have to see this. Turn his head away, will you, son? You still here, Mike? <laughs> Only kidding. Press conference in half an hour. OK. Fantastic. Just what I need, Richard. Mike, 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 your team's in disarray, your star player's injured, and you've got to win your next game to stay up. It's a desperate situation, isn't it? No, 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 not at all. We also stay up if we draw and Mansfield lose, or even if we both lose, but they concede three more goals than us, or if York City get beat by ten goals and the Scunthorpe game is abandoned. So, no, it's, it's nicely poised, you know. Um, next. Mike. 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 Uh, Mike, there are... No, 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 not you, you. Your room is Behi Behind you, yeah. Yes, you. Oh, we understand that if you are relegated, the chief executive plans to turn the stadium into luxury flats. Can you confirm or deny that? <laughs> no chance, son. You can't confirm or deny that? I bloody well can. You just watch me. Was well, that a confirmation or a denial? Look, let me make this absolutely clear. I can confirm I'm in denial. Well, you got that right. <laughs> um, next. Uh, will this weekend see a broken run down and demoralised Wirral County consigned to the history books, Mike? <laughs> That's more like it. Thanks very much, son. Now I've got something to say. So switch your tape recorders on, fellas, because I don't want you doing a gilligan on me, OK? Now, when I took this job, I vowed to lead my people out of the promised land, and I intend to honour that pledge. So if you're looking for a headline for your back pages, try this for size. Whittle County Football Club is going nowhere. Now, the future of this club may not matter to you, lad. A bloody puffed-up, molly-coddled, overpaid, preening twats. But it does to literally thousands of Whittle fans out there. Well, statistically, we're talking more in the hundreds, though, boss. Give your brain a bloody rest, will you, Einstein? We're talking football here, son, not mathematics. Now, while some of you have been whinging and sulking, this lad's been sweating blood in the gym to get fit for the game. So how are you, Tonka? Oh, I'd never felt better, boss. Fighting fit. I'll be there on Saturday. <laughs> Good lad. Now, that's the sort of commitment I want. 
So stop fannying about and feeling sorry for yourself. Show me that you care, Laszlo. You show me some passion. You show me you're a soldier. You too. A Serbian warrior. Come on. Kill. 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 Well, she's still out shopping. Look, love, I know she's there. Would you put it on, please? Kareen, I, I, I love no, 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 don't hang up. I need, I need to see you. We can't leave it like this, love. I'm on the verge of a blinking breakdown here. <laughs> Shut up, will you? No, no. No, not you, love. No, honestly, listen. I, I, I need to see you, love. Honestly, you. I'm, I'm falling apart. I'm, I miss you. I, I want, you, I want you to come home. Look, I'm, I'm. Well, I, I, hang on a minute, love. Me beeper's going. Don't hang up. I, I, I'll, I'll call you right back. Hello, Dodgy. Look, I, I'm on the other line. What? The chairman's been taken into emergency. Why? What's happened? He caught a glimpse of the league tables. Oh, bloody hell, look, I'll be right there, OK? Kareen, look, love, I'm awful sorry. I'm going to have to ring you back, OK? Kareen? Kareen? had an embolism. Oh, God. That'll make him feel better. It's a blood clot. Oh. Do you mind if I have a little... You can try, but I don't think you get much out of him. Hello, Sir Denzel. Hey, you're looking good. Sir Denzel? Uh, can you hear me? What? You, you... Want me to take this off? That all right? Hello, son. Hello, boss. Mike Bassett, remember me? I remember. I first met you when you were this big. What, two foot? 56 Cup final. You were just a kid. Wembley Stadium, just by the 39 steps. Your dad missed a penalty. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. It, it could happen to anybody. Not anyone. Did it on purpose, he did. Took a bone to throw the game. No, no, Sir Denzel. You're delirious. You've just had major surgery. Your mother told me before she died I was the only one. He scored 12 goals. He took us into the final. Watch the video. Aimed at the scoreboard, he did. It did smack in the middle. It's a lovely strike. But you had to know the truth, lad. I can rest easy now. No, no, no you're lying. Sir Denzel, you're lying. You lying old sod, wake up! Take it back, take it back! Wake up, you silly old sod, wake up! No, no! Sir Denzel! Nurse! Nurse! Wake up! Wake up, Sir Denzel! Nurse! There wasn't a scrap of bunting left on Merseyside as Willow County came to Wembley for their first ever FA Cup final. And waiting in store, the mighty Bolton Wanderers, a team whose players are rumoured to earn nearly £10 a week. Wing Commander Peter Tatchell gets the match off to a rollicking start, and soon the plucky minnows are on the attack. Ten minutes gone, and Wirral earned themselves a penalty. Centre forward Stan Bassett steps up to take it, and strikes it only a whisker away. Never mind Stan, keep on smiling. Bolton win it 1-0. So up to receive his much-deserved loser's medal is Wirral legend Stanley Bassett, carrying his crippled son Michael. Never mind, Dad. You'll always be a hero to me. Boss, I've been looking for you. You all right? Me, no, boss, you're groping your dad's bust. It was a fraud, Dodsey. 
A lion float! Just like your bloody son! Hey, no! I don't, I don't do this! Don't you! Get out of the way! Two months. That's the longest I've been away from Mike since the summer of 89, when he went to America to coach the Minneapolis Thunderbolts. Should have been a lot longer, but luckily they sacked him over Thanksgiving. They said one turkey was enough. I remember I cried in my pillow every night. I missed him that much. We just go together like chalk and cheese. How's that? Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, waves always suited you. Oh, no. Talk of the devil. Do you want me to get rid of him? No, g give us ten minutes, love. My wife's left me. I've ruined the club I love. I almost killed the chairman. I think I've broken Dodgy's jaw. And my dad took a bung to throw the 56 Cup final. Sometimes I think it would have been better if I'd never lived. I feel like Jimmy Stewart at the end of Harvey. You shouldn't say things like that. Just think, love. You could be Mrs. Norman Hunter right now. I didn't want to be Mrs. Norman Hunter. Or Mrs. Paul Maidley, or Mrs. any of the rest of the Leeds back line. I wanted to be Mrs. Mike Bassett. I'll never lie to you again. I promise. I'd like to believe you, Mike. But I don't think you value me enough to keep your promises. Jesus Christ, love, I do value you. I value you more than anything on this earth. I'll do anything you want. I'll pack up the game. I'll, I'll, I'll move to Spain. Right. From now on, love, you've got me wherever you bloody want me. But I don't want you, Mike. Not like this. I want the proud man I married. The man who stands up for what he believes in. You do? Yeah. But he has to believe in me as well. I do, love, I do. Now more than ever. Go and win your game. Save your club. And then maybe after that we can talk. The best thing about me has always been you. There's one other thing, Mike. I knew about your dad throwing the cup final. Your mum told me I was the only one. She also told me why. They were broke. All footballers were. They couldn't fix your legs on the national health, so they sent you private. He gave away his greatest moment so you could run, Mike. In ancient Rome, the gladiators had a saying, death or glory. Will it be death for Mike Bassett today as he battles to keep World County alive after 109 years of league football? Come on, Dodgy, answer the question. Where's Mike Bassett? Has he finally gone do lally? Uh, we don't know. He's not been in today. He's done a Keegan, hasn't he? If you're talking about the time he fell off his bike in Superstars, then nothing could be further from the truth. David, would you describe the situation as dire or calamitous? Uh, Probably a mixture of the two. We've got a lot of sightings of him around the country, with one unconfirmed report he's in Norwich. It's all right, son. How were the teeth? On the men, boss. Good lad. I'll make it up to you. I wanted to tell you today how special the Whittle was. You know, the fact that we produced two Doctor Whos, the fabulous Baker boys, Colin and Tom. But instead, I want to say how ordinary this town is. Like every hamlet up and down the length and breadth of this great country we call England, it's normal in its petty rivalries, its common complaints. The new one-way system up the high street, that's certainly divided opinion. And what's happened to the old cinema, eh? 
that used to show classic movies like The Dam Busters and Digby, the biggest dog in the world. And now look at it. And of course, its football team. It might not be a great football team. It's really even mediocre. But it's the only one we've got. You see, great things aren't God-given. They're made by men, and sometimes women. But men mostly, and they can be taken away too. So I'd like to appeal to the good people of the Whittle to come together and save this little football club. Because if you don't turn up on Saturday, you lose the soul of this town forever. Totsy. One hour till kick-off, boss. Right, get the whole squad in the dressing room now, OK? Right. Totsy, how did you... Uh... Stayed up all night with the tube of Evo stick. Ta-da! Bloody hell, it looks like Aaron Whittacombe. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Come here, lad. <laughs> boss. There's something I need to tell you. Your dad took a bung to lose a 56 cup final. Your mum told me... And you were the only one? Yeah. I know. Come on, son. Right, Lance, this is it. The game of games. When you're old and grey, you'll be telling your grandkids about today. Because today you become the eternal team. Laszlo! Okay. You're Gordon Banks. A wonderful one-eyed goalkeeper with the heart of a lion. You too. Jeremy? The boss. Franz Beckenbauer, a.k.a. the Fiore. Carlson? Here, yeah, boss. Maradona. Scores on a regular basis, and I'm not talking about the white stuff. Yes, boss. Righty, Ronaldo strikes like a tiger, looks like a beaver. Boss. Tonka. Aye, boss. Kevin Tonka Tonkinson. The greatest attacking midfielder this country has ever produced. Get your kit on, son. You're playing. Thanks, boss. I love you, boss. Oh, 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 I so. oh. And Gavin? Yeah? You're dropped. Today, we set our critics straight. Now let's get out there and take Chester to hell and back. Now come on! Come on! Now come on! Get out of it! Come on! We're all guilty! I'll tell you what, Dodgy lad. I love this bloody game. Now, come on, lads! These have done their bit! Now, it's up to you to do yours! So, come on! Win it! I love you, boy! I love you, too, <laughs> Tom Hey, Johnson, you'll have to shelve your plans for the ground, mate. As always next year, Mike. People will always need luxury flats. Get that down, you front! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, boss. We saved the club. We lost 2 0, Dodsey. Thank Christ Mansfield conceded six, eh? <laughs> oh, look at him, boss. Is there any finer sight on this earth? Nah, I don't know, Dodgy. I've seen enough naked men for one lifetime. You feeling all right, boss? I 
I've never felt better in my life, lad. Come on, love. We've got a plane to catch. So where are you taking me? How do you fancy a long sunk history time and on the Costa del Sol? <gasps> <laughs> I bet Norman Hunter doesn't kiss like that. I wouldn't want to find out. <laughs> Boss! Well, you can't go. We need you. Not anymore, son. You'll make a great manager. Good luck, Dancy. I hear Peter Beardsley's got a villa for sale in Marbella. Sounds perfect, love. That's just down the road from Dynamo for and Garola. And they need a new manager. Hang on. You said you were giving the game up, Mike. I am, love. They're only part-timers. You know, duty through to sack me. Oh, for Christ's sake. We might as well stay here. Well, you're off of it, love.